Well, we're here at Camp Cherie on the Kusa for a week. It's located in Wetumpka, which is like 30 minutes or so from Montgomery, Alabama. And I just love staying at new places. We've never been here before. I like uh, going new places and seeing new things, and I like to see what all these campgrounds have to offer as far as amenities and see what they don't have to, as far as their amenities. So let's go take a look. This right here is uh, their screened-in pavilion. It's a common area for their guests. It's pretty cool. It's got grills in there for you to use. It's got fans, and of course, it's got it's got heaters. So this is their screened-in pavilion. I really like this area. I guess mostly because it sort of makes you feel like you're outdoors, but you don't really have all the elements. I mean, during the summer, you can keep the mosquitoes and the flies away, and during the winter, you can just sit out here and with these heaters that they have. They've got some TVs up here. They've got a ping pong table. And there again, there's those, the heaters I was talking about. But it's just a good little area. Oh, there's a cornhole and a grill. But again, it's just a good little area to come and relax and overlook overlooking the water. And they have a little community area sitting outside the straight in pavilion. A little swing. And they have a swing. Yay. Ooh. And they have a community fire pit here. Now, I don't know if they normally do this or not, but you can see they also have a trailer full of firewood. I think that that firewood is for guests to use free of charge. And then right behind the screened in porch, we have a deck. And on this deck, it overlooks the river. With one lonely chair. They have a walking trail that goes most of the way around the park, but I don't know if it goes all the way around. From the screen in ports, they also have a concrete pathway down to the river. What I'd really like to do is stay here sometime when it's warm. Oh well. And then you'd have you'd have all this to look out over the river. And again, if you're afraid enough to take out where they say there's a kayak launch, uh, if you can get it up that hill when you take out, it'd be a great place to come down the Coosa and take out. Uh, so we're gonna give that a try, at least I will, sometime next year when it warms up. So here we have their bathhouse. It's brand spanking new. It has four private bathrooms and a laundry room. So I've been in some nice restrooms in some campgrounds, but this by far takes the cake. I mean, come on y'all, this is just beautiful. Look at the shower. So we just met one of the owners here, Camp Sherry. I've been saying Cherie, but it's actually Camp Sherry. Ah, it is, isn't it? He did say that. And uh, very friendly guy. And he told us something. We were looking at the bathhouse and the laundry room. And he told us, for now, the laundry room is free to use. So that's a really good benefit for a place like this. Yeah, their laundry room was amazing. As long as people you know, respect it and them. don't abuse the equipment. So they've had some problems fixing some things up. But uh, for now, like I say, it's free. Yeah, that's the first campground I think we've ever stayed in that the laundry facility was actually free. And uh, the other thing he told us is we, we were just confirming that the pavilion, the screen pavilion is free to use. You don't have to reserve it. And all that firewood we looked at. It's free to It's free to use. Just don't. Don't take it home with yeah, you. Don't take it home with you. Said he had somebody, a previous guest, load up their truck before they left with it and boogied on out with it. Yeah, so use it here is all they ask. <laughs> the other thing about this place, if you're concerned about security, uh, they do have a coded gate that you have to go through to get in here. They don't have anybody that works here on site, but they do have some people they can rely on to get things for you. Or you can contact them, get things taken care of. So here's the playground. 
So see is playing on it. They also have a little dog park here that you can put your dogs in and let them run a little while. A lot of open space. The sign to, on the gate says, all children must be accompanied by a parent. Doesn't say all parents have to be accompanied by a child. So we're staying on one of the standard back end concrete sites. As you can see, there's enough room on the pad to park side by side. They are full hookups, minus cable. These sites supposedly do not have Wi-Fi down here, but I'm not positive on that. I hadn't checked it out. So we have sewer, 50 amps, water. Now on this side, you'll see some of the standard pull-through sites. I think all of the pull-through sites are crush run sites. They do have some back-end sites that are crush run also. All these are pretty wide as far as the pad goes itself. There's a little bit of room in between the pads, but uh, not a lot, but it's about the standard size from what we've seen on most campsites like this. Now these sites over here are the back-end sites overlooking the river, the Coosa River. You see that most of, well actually all of these have picnic tables, I think. Um, there's a few sites here in this campground that have a fire ring, but um, it, it says in the write-up on the internet that you are allowed to bring your own fire pit as long as it um, has a screened cover over it. So one of the things that really attracts me to this campground is it is right on the Coosa River. And they've advertised that they've got a place to take your kayak out. Matter of fact, you might have seen us in one of our videos kayaking on the Coosa. And we went right by here. And when we were kayaking, we were thinking, you know, that'd be a great place to stay if we just wanted to kayak and have a place to take out right on the river. But it looked like when we were kayaking before from the river that they had no place to actually take your kayak down to uh, put it in. So we found where you're supposed to be able to take it out. We haven't walked down there yet. It's a little cold for us to be kayaking right now, but we're going to take a look and see what it looks like. So here's the pathway going down to the kayak route. It does look like a pretty good little place here. That's a long, it's a long way to drag your kayak down. No, you don't drag your kayak, you back in. Yeah. You can't back your truck. I am back my truck in here. It's four-wheel drive. Yeah, I know there's no way I'd tow a kayak down that far. That's a pretty good way from the top down here to the bottom. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. That's, you can't put a kayak in here. I. So here's what they consider their kayak route. No. Uh, Cecilia doesn't think you can, but you'd have to be careful. We're in the middle of a drought right now, so the water is a lot further down than normal. But it would be, you know, it'd be a little bit of a trick to get your kayak up there here. Ain't happening. Uh, yeah, I see you'd probably be watching me and somebody else take out. No, no, what's going to happen is you get on those rocks and those rocks fall. No, those rocks aren't going anywhere, but you could slip. No, they are. They're, they're, look, they're movable. I want to say, you know what, if you decide to kayak, I'm, I'm going to have it on video. You going down there. Oh, all right. Going down will be a lot easier than coming up. Shoot. But we're not going to be going down here. This is where you take out because this is uh, downriver from where you would normally put in. So if this we were to where, kayak, this is where we'd be taken out. So these right here are the pull-in sites. And just calling them stupid, because yesterday I finally realized and it finally clicked with me that the pull-in sites have the, all the hookups on the opposite side than what I'm used to. And yes, I've been camping for almost three years now. And I know Rodney has told me, but it just finally made sense. And all these pull-in sites over here are still full of hookups, and they are all on the river. They're overlooking the river. There is room behind all these on the river, so you can sit out back behind your camper, or in case of the pull-in sites, in front of your camper. And see, I just always thought that you could pull into any site. That's why when you were telling me, Rodney, that it's a pull-in site, it's like, well, you can really pull into any site, right? 
You but could, you just have to run. Your... But your hookups are on the wrong side. Right. So yeah, just finally get it. Yeah, if you backed into a pull-in site, you'd have to run all your connections oh, underneath yes. your camper. <laughs> but again, you can also see some more of the pull-through sites over here in the middle. They're all in the middle of the campground. They're all crush run. Again, some of your back-end sites are crush run, but you do have some back-end sites that are concrete, and all your pull-in sites are concrete. <laughs> 